Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to Yaki out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Now, what you see on the screen is Ordo Ab Kao, which translates into order out of chaos. And this is part of the rituals of the elites. Okay, as you can read down here, it says the original and complete. Let me bring it down so you can see. It says the original and complete rituals of the ancient and accepted Scottish rite of 433 degrees. 4233 degrees. Okay, that's dealing with masonry. Because masons are nothing more than witches. Okay. And that's the lower level of these elites, the lesser luminaries when you're in that masonry. When you get to the 33rd degree, you know, you've reached the highest rank of, of masonry. But there's many more ranks above that, you know, many, many more ranks above that. Now, before you get into masonry, you know, brothers did lessons on it. You start out, usually you start out as the gateway in these fraternities, okay, in college, okay. And from those fraternities, you graduate into masonry, so on and so forth, and work your way up the ranks because they, they vet the people that, you know, that they deal with, okay? They vet the people, and they, they usually get them from these colleges and these universities, okay? So, anyways, what I wanted to go into is this news dealing with California, Okay, I'm going to play this video and it's showing you this is a breakdown of the society. And just because it's in California, I'm in Canada, uh, it doesn't affect me. It's going to affect you. This is something that the whole beast system is getting ready to do. Okay, you have to understand the beast moves as one. All right. Matter of fact, let me get let me get a scripture on that because you have to understand the beast moves out of one. Canada is part of the beast system. Okay. Canada's part of the beast system. It's not a, um, uh, you know, working on its own. No, it's working with the beast. Okay. It's part of NATO. NATO and the EU make up the beast. Okay. This is Revelation 17 and verse 15. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest. Where the horse sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. That's dealing with America, the great melting pot. Why is it called a melting pot? Because you have all kind of different people and tongues in there. Okay, and nations and cultures. You can go to America in any city and find all types of restaurants. Okay, Persian restaurants in abundance. Okay, because it's a great melting pot. This is where everyone uh, flocks to. Because at one time it was looked at as what the the, the 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 city of opportunity, okay. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. Now you're dealing with the ten horns, you're dealing with the uh, with the whole um, uh, the NATO, okay. And it really uh, the excuse me the EU first and foremost the EU rather, okay. Because it started off as 10 um, different um, countries, okay? But then now it's, there's a lot more than that, okay? I'm not sure if it's 30-something. Matter of fact, we can look it up right now. We'll look up how much countries is in is in uh, the EU. Because it used to be called the ECC, the Economic, uh, the European, e uh, the EEC, the European Economic Community. Um you members. okay so right now see it has 27 members but originally it wasn't 27 members it was really 10 members but then you had two members that were really one if I, if, uh, give me a second no 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 ECC no, ECC Not 
yeah, the European economic community. When you go into this, all right. Uh, let's see here. So I really just want to see the countries that are associated. Okay, the members, beautiful. Okay, so you have, you had Belgium, you had France, you had West Germany, you had Italy, you had Luxembourg, you had Netherlands, you had Denmark, you had Ireland, which is part of the United Kingdom. Okay, this should be one. Ireland and in the UK should be one. Okay, these were one at one time. Greece. Portugal and Spain and Portugal and Spain should be one okay Portugal Portugal came out of Spain see so you this is the thing about understanding prophecy the most high is not looking at it based upon the technicalities of what Esau pushes out no ultimately these are one Portugal and Spain is one in um, United Kingdom and Ireland is one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So really it's ten. These are the ten horns. Okay, all Edomite countries, all Edomite controlled and dominated um, countries. Okay. So that's the point. Now let's go back to Revelations. That's so you can understand when it speaks about the ten horns. And in the EU, right, and NATO, and most of them, the members, a lot of the members in the EU are part of NATO as well. Matter of fact, let's look up, let's look up NATO. Let's look up NATO because that's all part of the beast as well. Oops, like, yeah. Let's look up NATO. Let's look up NATO. Now it's 30 countries. Well, I should look at the original members of NATO. But this is comprised of a lot of countries. You know, but a lot of those countries, if not all of them, right? You got France, you got uh, Belgium. You see, Canada is definitely part of NATO. You got Greece, you got Italy, Luxembourg, Portugal, United Kingdom, Spain. Right, so most of them, except for Ireland, but I, like I said, Ireland and United Kingdom is one, okay, are part of the NATO, okay, and this is part of the beast, okay, this is part of the heads, you see, so at the end of the day, Esau, Edom, they're moving as one unit, okay, they're moving as one unit, to, to, to push forth one common goal and that one common goal is the NWO the new the nouveau world order nouveau means new in French okay now <clears throat> let's get um this is uh revelation 17 and verse uh, 16 that's where I was at and the ten whores and, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, because they're going to turn on America eventually. We're not at that point yet, but you can see why. Things that America does, they don't give a damn about the European the Europeans. Okay, although they're the same people, they don't care. Okay, the thing that they did with Russia, that affected Europe terribly, but they, they didn't bat an eye. But eventually, those so-called allies are going to turn on them. Okay. And shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. They're not. Uh, uh, the, the, they're not actually going to turn around, and the the the, um, the governments of of these different uh, European countries are not going to turn around and actually eat the American officials. No, this is speaking about what with fire, the nuclear fire. In other words, they're going to turn with Russia. And burn America with fire with that with the nuclear missiles. It says Revelation 17 and 17. It says, 
for the Most High hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. So their kingdom is going to be given unto the beast. In other words, the beast is moving as one unit being headed by America, Babylon the Great. And the woman which thou sawest is the great city, which is America, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. So that's what I mean by they're moving as one unit. So just because you see this is happening, the cows happen in California has nothing to do with me. No, no, no. This is going to affect you eventually as well. Just like the C-19 came to a country near you, right? The lockdowns and the different measures, the mass man, uh, mandates and all these different things came to you. Because that was a, 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 how do you say this, an effort, a unified effort by the beast, okay, headed by Babylon the Great, but really behind the scenes, <laughs> manipulated and controlled by the elites, the elite banking families, which really own America, so on and so forth. Okay, but so let's let's go ahead and play this real quick so you can see what I'm saying about the or ordo ab kill. A typical response to a 911 call includes police, fire, and an ambulance. But there are times when an ambulance is not available. There is a number of different circumstances in our jurisdiction that we have uh, down to zero ambulances available to be able to respond out to those life-saving incidents. Steve, oh, wow. So there's there's times where they have zero ambulances in this particular county in California. Zero available. So that means someone gets shot in the face or whatever the case may be. They they don't have. They're not able to attend to that person. This is in America. Okay, this is in America, and this is systematic. The fact that there's a shortage of, of ambulances, of police officers, okay, this is all systematic because Esau needs chaos in the society. And part of the, the way of having chaos is to destroy these different institutions that's set up to, to, to bring order. Now, a lot of these institutions, by the way, were created by so called black people. Okay, I believe the fire department, and maybe all of it, I'm not sure exactly. We got to check that all out, man, okay? Because Esau, really, he doesn't invent anything useful. He usually just, um, you know, steals people's uh, ideas. But anyway, Salaki, that's for another video. But that's a, an interesting point. Um, yeah, so these things are getting ready to be broken down for the purpose of chaos. You saw what happened in Buffalo, New York, right? They, they, the, the ambulances and these things were not running at that particular time. So people were freezing 10 feet from their home. You know, they're freezing in their car to death. A lot of women got judged. Uh, wicked Jakes got judged. All right. So these things happen for the purpose of what judgment? And it's going to increase. 2023, we believe, is going to be a, a, a very, very heavy year. And this right here is another proof of what's coming. Bear is a fire captain for Contra Costa County Fire Protection District. He says the shortage of ambulance services is a problem faced by emergency responders across the country. Contra Costa County has roughly 30 ambulances to respond to their 911 calls. Our ambulance services have been impacted by the pandemic, by the you know recent events that are going on, but also a, uh, a large entailed use of the ambulance service just for normal calls going to uh, the hospitals. To reduce the strain on health care services, Contra Costa County Health is urging residents to call 911 only in cases of a true emergency. In a statement, they say several hospitals in the community are reporting critically high level of patients occupying beds, with more than 1,200 inpatients reported throughout the county. Hospital emergency departments are similarly impacted that you may have have a minor cut that just because you want to go on an ambulance ride doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to get you into the emergency room any faster. Captain Ober says some instances of an emergency could be chest pain, difficulty breathing, severe pain, broken bones or getting burned. He points out that ride share programs are offered throughout the county for those who don't have transportation. And finally, 
to consider urgent care instead of the ER. We do urge and encourage everyone to utilize other resources, such as the advice nurses, such as an urgent care that is uh, more apt to handle minor uh, injuries and symptoms along those lines. In Martinez, on Sarasen, okay. ABC 7 News. So <clears throat> you can see that's dealing with, uh, if there's minor issues, listen, we're not dealing with that right now. Do not give us a call for that. We don't have enough ambulance trucks to deal with that. But this is going to escalate to major things, okay? Major things showing you that uh, once that happens, okay, what do you think Jake is going to do? What do you think these, these Edomites are going to do? What do you think people that, you know, are in poverty or whatever the case may be, are gonna do. They're gonna go and break into places. They're gonna loot. They're gonna they're gonna do what they gotta do to try to get up in that window of time. Okay, people who might have had uh, problems with certain people, they're gonna go see those people. Men that had problems with these different uh, uh, um, slores. Okay, they're gonna go visit them. Okay, or their, their baby mama. They go. They're gonna go visit them. Okay. Right. You got a lot of a secret Jeffrey Dahmers walking around these places. You have no idea of the chaos that's getting ready to ensue in this place. And it's all through the prophecies of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Okay? You see? Because they think it's going to get back to normal. It's not going to get back to normal. No, 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 no. This is um. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. It says, But of the times and seasons, brethren... Ye have no need that I write unto you, for for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, and say, oh, we're going to get back to normal, we're going to, you know, try to bring the jobs back, so on and so forth. And don't worry, we have uh, a plan in place, okay? Then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. They're not going to escape these judgments, man. Okay. But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. It's not overtaking us. Why? Because we're constantly watching to the point where they're, like, oh, they're fear mongering. No, no, no. Everything we're saying is coming to pass. Okay. And you're going to see that this, these things are going to really, really start to tip over. And then you're going to be looking for the prophets and it's going to be too late. Ye are all the children of light. And the children of the day, we are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that are drunken, be, are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for the unhelmet, the hope of salvation. For the Most High hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who died for us, that whether we we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. Okay, so this is what's getting ready to happen, man. All right, it's getting ready to be a, a great shift. So when they think peace and safety is coming, no, no, no. Because they're in darkness, they're not going to be expecting it. But us that are in the light, we're going to we're seeing what this man is pushing forth. We see how the Most High is going to use him as his sword on the left hand side to bring this judgment in. Okay. Okay. This is um Daniel's eight and twenty five. It says, and through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart. And by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. So through their policies, right, and through what, they're, what, they're, what they call peace, like the scripture says, through such great plagues called they peace. Matter of fact, let me get that. All right, he's going to deceive the people, right, into thinking, you know, following him is going to be the way and that's just going to lead them into a worse situation give me one second
<clears throat> wisdom of Solomon. I'm going to read this out. This is Wisdom of Solomon 14 and verse 22. It says, Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of the Most High, but whereas they lived in a in the great war of ignorance and darkness, okay, ignorance, darkness, same thing, those so great plagues called, called they peace. You see that? So since they're in darkness, the, the, they don't see that these things that are getting ready to befall them are plagues, okay, until they're knee deep and it's too late. Okay, so let's get um like for example the uh the MOTB they're gonna take that uh, willingly, okay, thinking that it's it's for their benefit when really they're just giving themselves a plague, an actual plague, is what they're putting upon themselves. Let's get um Salakia. Yes, second Ezra's. I'm going to read it from the phone as well. Second Ezra 16, I think around verse 67. Okay, this is second Ezra 16 and verse... I'll start at verse 68. It says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them, they that consent unto Esau, Edom, and his beast system that he's getting ready to establish, the NWO ultimately, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach, which reproach goes into shame, and trodden underfoot. Let's look up this word derision. Okay, because you're going to be had in derision. You trust in this devil. You trust in his ways, his system. Which the scripture says, um, curse be he that curse be the man that trusteth in man. Okay. You're gonna have to um you're gonna be deceived, man. You're going to be deceived. Okay, it says derision. It says ridicule or mockery. Woo, you're going to be mocked. You're going to be uh, ridiculed. Just like you people who took the juice. You're being ridiculed now because you're the ones dropping dead. And they're telling you that, oh, <laughs> that the ones that took the juice, they're the ones dropping dead at the, mo at the highest rate. So that, that right there, people, are, that's why the people who didn't take the juice, they're laughing at the majority of you, okay? I mean, not your family, you mean you're, you're mad about certain people that you love, you know, your parents took, you know, you kind of mourned at that, but then the other people that were running their beak and, and you know, you, you, you're scoffing at them, you're, you're, you're basically mocking them, okay? Because they were cursing you out, saying, ah, oh, you need to trust the, the, the science and all these things, and now they're through. Because they trusted the devil and his pseudoscience. Okay? And, and it's going to continue that way. The more these people trust in this devil and what he has to offer, speaking about these Edomites, they're going to be had in worse and worse and worse scenarios, man. Until they take that MOTB and that's going to be the worst possible scenario for them. Okay? But that's, but that's why he has to bring in the chaos. Because with the chaos, he can scare people into taking these different things that he has to offer, man. Okay? Because these people don't have the, the, the faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So they're just going to, they're going to, they're going to move to his tomb. Let me get, um, let's get Revelations 12 and 12. It's Revelations 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea.
For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Who has a short time? The Edomites, okay, which are the ones that are the, 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 the horns of the beast, the heads of the beast, the, the, the control, the, 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 that's the horse sitting on the, on, the, on the beast. Those are all Edomite countries, okay, Edomite nations. Okay, and guess what? He knows he has a short time, so they're moving with a a uh, unified effort to bring in that NWO. That's why I said when you see it happen in one place, it's gonna happen all over. Just because you see it happen in America or Australia or whatever, or you know these places are all um, uh, preludes to what's coming to a home near you, including China, because China, China, like like. <laughs> Like Trump says, China, right? That is um, a colony of Great Britain. Great Britain controls that, in other words, man. They control that, okay? See, they they, they weren't they didn't come up with the idea of communism. No, no, they got that from the Edomite, and the whole idea of, of surveillance and tracking and social credit score. They didn't just come up with that by themselves. No, no, the Edomite, the devil. Who came into China and get and offered him that. And these Moabites are so they just love Esau so much that they're willing to do whatever it takes. Okay, you see it when the Moabites come over, you know, to America or Canada or London or whatever, they sound like Edomites. If you talk to them on the phone, you won't even know the difference between them and an the Edomite. And that's why their women are all all with Edomite men, because <laughs> the Moabites they kiss the, the, the ground that Esau walks on, man. And that's why, the, and they're enemies too, man. That's why the Most High is going to do away with. They're going to be brought low as well. Okay, they're going to be lot brought very, very low as well. Anyways, so you see that the, the the Lord is setting up His sword to actually bring judgment. Okay. The Lord is setting up His sword to bring judgment on the planet Earth, man. This is Ezekiel 21 and verse 9. It says, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith Yahweh, say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. And what is a sword used for? For slaughtering, whether it be an animal or whatever the case may be. It's, it's used to slaughter some, right? Whether it be animal or human, a sword is used to slaughter. Okay, it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbish that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? We're not in the time of mirth. We're in the time of being uh, serious minded. It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. And he hath given it to be furbish, furbish that it may be handled. The sword is sharpened and it is furbished. To give it into the hand of the slayer. Okay, and who's the slayer? Esau Edom. Okay. Esau Edom is, is getting ready to use his the, the blessing of the sword that he has. And he has that blessing and he has weaponized. He has used it to perfection. He has weaponized everything because a sword represents a weapon. He has weaponized the food. He has weaponized the air, the chemtrails and all other means. Right, and I just watched a video earlier. Them, them people that that work in those those chemtrail pilots, they set them up according to the video. Right, they 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 get them uh, their military air force men. They set them up and they make it where they you know they're always moving around and everyone that they work with, the different maintenance people for the for those planes, you know they're all those people are only there for a few months. And then they don't see them again for the purpose of not making them connect with anybody or, you know, have too much friends. And they usually get people without families. All right. So that they don't they don't, have, you know, spread the word and all these different things. You know, they don't, you know, no whistleblowing goes on. Not too much whistleblowing goes on. And if they find out that they're doing something, they're going to be reprimanded. This is what was said in the video. And they're constantly spraying those things. That's called weaponizing the air. 
They weaponize the water. They weaponize the food. They weaponize the women. They weaponize every damn thing, man. Okay. The police force, which is supposed to be what? It's supposed to be to protect so so called, right? No, they're, they're militarized right now. They're, they've militarized the police. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbish that it may make glitter. Should we then make mirth, it contemneth the rod of my son as every tree, and he hath given it to be furbished, that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, it is it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. You Jakes are gonna feel it, man. Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 and 7. It shall be upon all the princes of Israel terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people smite therefore upon the thigh okay so yeah you're gonna feel that pain man you're gonna feel that pain you're gonna be in, in, in a bad case and that's all from your how about shimmy al shy because you refuse to hearken unto his prophets this is another video of a guy basically speaking about the uh the situation you know you know, we could see it happen. You know, we see it happen. I just I just played the, the news clip for you. Okay. So, I mean, we could play a bit of what, what this guy is saying. You know, and I'll, I'll pretty much close it after this. Call 911. That is what some residents in California are being told right now. And this is also happening in Georgia. A very similar situation is happening. People are waiting on the lines for hours and hours waiting for ambulances to get help. This is a breakdown of our emergency services. And this is also a supply chain breakdown. Believe it or not, this is highly interconnected with the supply chain and the problems we're having there all right so let's dive into what's happening and this just is another example of how you cannot rely on emergency services in a real emergency when there's a real emergency you you can't call emergency services or even saying don't call because they're having their own emergency right now all right look at new york and buffalo there was an emergency and the emergency services couldn't get to where they needed to be because the roads were blocked by snow there was a snow emergency a weather emergency that took them out too so whenever there's a real actual emergency you will not be able to depend on emergency services that's just how it typically is and you need to be prepared all right so let's get into what's going on california this is happening in georgia as well too we will get into that in just a second california county urges residents to only call 911 for true emergencies all right this is the point we're getting to california one of the most prosperous uh states in the world their gdp is dwarfs many countries it's one of the top i believe top five ten gdps in the entire world is california competing with countries in europe all over the place and they cannot respond to emergency calls because of funding and supply chain breakdowns we will get into both of these issues and we will get into georgia what's happening there so as the ambulance shortage continues across the country a california county is urging residents not to call 911 unless it's a true emergency there are a number of different circumstances in our jurisdiction that we have down to zero ambulances available to be able to respond out to those life-saving incidents contra costa county fire captain steve aubert told abc7 all right so even saying zero ambulances available to be able to respond out to those light so that's the same thing that we 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 heard about in the uh, art in the video that we that we uh, just played before okay so he's going through that all right see if he says anything. by the way follow see if he says anything else me on twitter if you do have twitter but i'm not following my local file de fire department maybe i should be because this is what they do they hmm. okay well i don't really want to hear him speak too much about this because you know how youtube gets down they'll definitely try to flag it but as you can see there's a uh, particular uh plague that calls, uh, there's calls for a particular plague that are straining 
CCC EMS Resources, CCHS, and Con Fire Urge residents call 911 only for true emergency. So there's all different reasons that's that they're using to say no, we don't. Please don't call us because you know we have too much on our plate. We heard that um, video that brothers was sharing around of the woman that was in her house and her ex boyfriend was breaking in, and she was on the phone with the the uh, police officer or the dis the police dispatcher. And the woman basically told us, "We don't have anyone to send to you. The only thing I can basically give you is uh, moral support and advice, <laughs> which was useless." All right, so hey. You keep trusting in Egypt, man, for your help, man. We're going to trust in y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai the only help that we got. Okay, so with that, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rechak Dash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to you. I came out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Shalom.